Hello folks, this is Stefan from overunity.com. I just wanted to follow up on the Orbo Electronics um, Orbo cells. They have released a new video which they have only posted on Facebook. So I just want to play this and add some comments from me. And uh, so for the people who don't use Facebook, um, so they can watch it on my YouTube channel and I will add some additional as I said, comments and uh, some details here to these videos and to the ordering process, etc. Okay, I just will play them now and first I will mute now uh, the music because I don't want to get copyright strike from YouTube because of the music. Okay, so let's Okay, uh, so the music is playing only for the first few seconds. So a lot okay. of people are asking what's the difference between an Orbo power cell and traditional batteries. Traditional batteries come in two basic forms, what are known as primary batteries or disposable batteries, which um, once you have drained the energy, they're disposable, you throw them away, um, you should recycle them. Secondary batteries are the types of batteries that you um, would see in things like your phone or in power cubes and so forth, uh, typically lithium ion or lithium poly polymer technology. And the difference is once you've drained the energy in them, you can actually recharge them and replenish the energy. What is common between primary and secondary batteries is that the energy stored in them, and they are energy storage devices, is stored as an electrochemical process. So the output of these types of batteries in terms of voltage is ultimately defined by the inherent chemistry that it's using. That's right. To what is different about metals. Um, an Orbo power cell, and again, we showed um, a brief example of building, hand building a very simple cell, is that first of all, it is not an electrochemical device. So there is no um, ion transfer, um, there's no electrolyte, and so forth. It is based on the electromagnetic field. Um, the second and probably the most um, difficult to accept aspect of it is that it is an energy generating device rather than an energy storage device. What we showed in the clip building the um, tiny hand building the tiny little cell was a cell that had a uh, voltage uh, an open circuit voltage or VOC of 0.3.4 of a volt. Um, one of the things that we said as we were building that is that what makes it peculiar is that as you increase the surface area, the VOC also increases. So what oh, we have here is a hand-built um, version of the same, um, which is longer and uh, wound up a bit Voltage like a capacitor. And what we'll demonstrate is that the VOC of this, which is a, uh, simply longer strips of the same materials, so is at about 2.5 volts. Um, I think in this case it's about 2.5, 2.6 volts. volts. Um, here. That would be an unexpected result electrochemically, as in you typically see voltages of 3.7 volts in lithium ion batteries, 1.2 and so forth. And again, if we unwound this and cut this in half, we would find that the voltage itself reduced. Um, That's interesting. Probably the That's most interesting aspect most to normal. demonstrate Let's that the um, Orbo power cell is not a traditional battery is that if you short out a, a traditional battery for an extended period of time, ultimately you drain all or virtually all of the electrochemical energy that's stored in it. And so if you short it out and leave it for an extended period of time, um, remove the short and then measure it, you will find that the voltage is either significantly below its inherent voltage um, or if it's left long enough, it would be zero. So in order to demonstrate the fundamental difference between an Orbo power cell and a traditional battery, what we're going to do is short it out. Um, and we're going to leave it shorted for approximately 30 minutes and then demonstrate that the voltage in open circuit immediately bounces back to this 2.5 odd volts. So okay. all that I'm doing here is shorting the positive and negative, And as you can see on the scope, as expected, we go to um, zero volts, or very close to zero volts, about um, a and few millivolts, which is simply offset of the millivolts. And we'll leave this one because of the resistance of the short leads. They have a milliohm resistance, so they 
still generate a millivolt uh, voltage drop on this but here you can see the time frame how long uh, it's already running so and then after 30 minutes he uh, then he shuts down the, the short okay circuit. so we've had this orbo power cell shorted out now for i think just over 30 minutes so what i'm going to do is remove the short um, and simply pull the wires apart and what you will notice is that we're immediately back to our two and a half volt voltage yeah, level um, volt, what yeah. you would expect if this was an energy storage device such as a capacitor is obviously we would have drained the capacitor at this stage it's been 30 minutes in short circuit um, or if it was a traditional electrochemical cell we would see at least some drop off of voltage um, but probably after 30 minutes a very significant drop off of voltage what we're really demonstrating here is that unlike a traditional battery what Orbo really is is an energy generation technology in terms of what it looks like in its production format is that we aim for each cell to produce two and a half volts and our standard Orbo power cell is a five volt device so it is two of these uh, professionally manufactured and encapsulated that produce five volts so it's two in series so again just to demonstrate that that if I they put two in series the of these cells and version then of this get what you can see is a just over a so five volt output can see the um, again five, five volt volts is chosen so because our primary radio. target market for this is mobile consumer electronics no. They in terms of how this type of um, Orbo it. power cell is put into a product, what we do is we will place as many of these as necessary to give us a certain power output, and we use these devices then to trickle charge a standard lithium ion battery. A lithium ion battery will then provide the direct power to the device that we're powering. So, in the case of the O cube, um, behind the uh, USB electronics is a lithium ion battery and trickle charging the lithium ion battery is a sequence of the Orbo power cells. Um, the O phone is identical in that in the case of the phone we have built in um, a number of the Orbo power cells. Those power cells continuously charge a lithium ion battery but it's a lithium ion battery that actually powers the phone directly. Yeah. So it's interesting, <laughs> the battery is still not dead because they still use uh, lithium ion batteries in it, but uh, it really would change if they would use a million farad uh, supercapacitors of uh, Robert Murray Smith uh, if these go into production soon. So they then could uh, drop uh, or just substitute these lithium ion batteries with um yeah with then, uh, these million farad capacitors okay here are some comments on this video uh ESA has uh, posted a transcript again of this video if you want to read that again what he, what Sean McCarthy just said in this video and um, I commented, well, why you don't try to sell these 5 volt cells alone, maybe each for 20 to 30 pounds or so. I guess you could really sell quickly a huge number of these cells at these prices. Just make the price only 3 to 5 times the manufacturing cost. Then you still make a nice profit and scale the production up so that the competition will not have much time and interest to copy at much lower prices all the time as your price is not so expensive yeah. and some other people asked uh, have you tried scaling this up to tesla power wall charging size is that possible with this technology or is this milliamps only and orbital um, people answered the tech is currently only focuses on the mobile consumer electronics sector yeah, they just don't want to interfere with the bigger uh, power producing um, companies I guess uh, but it's also hard to scale up because it's really only in the low milliamps area I guess yeah what about water heaters no answer <laughs> yet yeah, water heating needs a lot of power and um, this probably needs a 
cool big cubicle full of these cells <laughs> to get some uh, going like this so yeah. Yo, um, yeah, you can read here all these comments on your own. Just log into Facebook and uh, you can also go back to their timeline. There are lots of more uh, comments over here. And in this moment, they have these two products, uh, the uh, O-Cube charger and the O-Phone. Uh, I just go to their website now. Um, there you can see uh, how this looks here. This is their orbo.com website. And uh, if you go to products, they have these two products here. The O-Cube Charger, which this is a lovely lady holds here. This is a l um, um, tablet PC in her hands. And uh, you can cost you only get for this price is a o cube charger it's 1200 pound uh, 1200 euros pretty expensive you can add this to your card um there was already uh before what i ordered here or, um try to add to the card oh, i don't order it now <laughs> because it's i find find it too expensive but uh yeah okay let's um Real breakthrough product, um, or you can order the um, O phone here. It's 480 euros, so um, about 500 pounds, uh, 500 US dollars, and um, yeah, it's just a normal GSM phone. Uh, you just only need a sim card and uh, it's it's unlocked and, and operates on gsm dual band 900 1800 megahertz um yeah and it's a normal standard phone uh, not not very um, elaborated so just you just can only talk with it also only make phone calls and uh, also have a uh, text message use text messages but that's all yeah and uh, interesting are the terms and conditions um, lead time please note that delivery of your order may take up to 12 weeks from time of payment and in placing any order you acknowledge that you have been made aware of this and accept this time frame if this time frame is unsuitable please do not place an order if we cannot fulfill your order within this time frame, you will be offered the option to cancel your order and receive a full refund. Yeah, and maybe you should read this, this uh, small print here over here about cancellation uh, yeah, of orders and something like this. So, yeah. okay, so I hope this. Um, these products will chip soon, so we can hear from some customers their impression of these technologies and how good it works and how long these cells really last. Otherwise, um, until the delivery, you can still study their Orbo Electronics page here on um, Facebook with all these comments and videos here on there. Yeah. So the O Cube was sold out uh, a few days ago. Now it's available again. Yo, so yeah, we will see what comes out of this technology, and I hope it will really be the breakthrough that we are all waiting for. And we will see what comes out of it. Okay, this is it for now. Please rate comment share and please subscribe to my youtube channel to not miss the next video this was stefan from overunity.com signing out now many thanks for watching bye bye